Hi there, welcome to House Nerds. I'm David Lawson. And I'm Jenny Morris. We're glad to have you here. Today is going to be a fun topic. What are we going to talk about, David? Remodels. You know, I was traveling last week and I've been very fortunate to be working on a TI project, tenant improvement for a coffee shop. And I know this isn't house related, but I'm super excited because I'm a total coffee nerd. Um, and it just brought to light all the different things that people go through in renovating their house and all the different things that you need to think about, uh, either get permits for or talk with um, talk with all the parties and all the contractors about. So we want to dive into some of those today, but super fun. Um, and we're going to be, I know we teased this a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago, but we're going to uh, be showing you pictures here in coming weeks and months of that project so we can talk about some of those things that are um, that are being done. Yeah, you might not be building a brand new home. You may be wanting to renovate your current home that's been there for a little bit, or maybe you're thinking about adding some sort of feature or making the house more your own. We want to talk a little bit about what what sorts of remodels um, are beneficial to the home value versus just allowing you to make some changes to allow the home to represent you and your family a little bit more? Yeah, and I love I love things that people love to have in their homes, right? I, I've talked about that before. I want you to enjoy the place that you live, but putting a waterfall in your master bathroom is not going to up your home value the same way that updating an 80s kitchen to a modern kitchen is going to affect when the appraiser comes out and looks at stuff. Yeah, when the appraiser comes out, a lot of people don't realize that they're looking at the status of the home, whether or not it's been remodeled, whether or not there's been significant changes to the dwelling. Um, and they're noting that, and specifically, they're noting it so that the new buyer is aware of any sort of changes. Um, they're looking at the original specs versus the current um uh, situation with the dwelling, the current status of the dwelling. Um, and and that kind of information is really important. You know, you, then it gives you the information to ask the seller, you know, who did these renovations? Was it a DIY project? Was it, is it insured? Is there any type, uh, type of warranty associated with these renovations? And those types of questions are really important when you're looking to purchase a home and it adds to your selling um, uh, ability when you go to resell. Now, certainly lots of people do DIY projects. And we're not mm -hmm. saying that you shouldn't, but there are reasons and times when you want to bring in a professional. And, and there's some cases when um, you want those renovations to be permitted, um, particularly when moving pl major plumbing, uh, gas lines. Um, there are certain cities that require pressure tests uh, on the old homes if you're moving gas lines, um, electric. Uh, all of those things should be done by you know, a professional. Um, if you're not an electrician, I recommend getting an electrician. But also in the design process, you know, part of what I do is go in and measure what we call the as built, right? Lots of homes aren't, even if you have blueprints, the homes might have been built differently than the blueprints. People may have made, might have made changes along the way, but most people actually don't have the plans that their house was. So part of that process is going in and measuring everything. And that goes into a demolition plan and also helps us know where the structural stuff is. And this is a big one. Um, I've seen people take out load bearing walls and have ceilings start to sag and things like that. And so engaging with someone who can, you know, pop up in your attic or look at your basement or whatever the wherever those places are to go. These are the challenges we're going to run into as we start to uh, as we start to make these changes. Just as an example here, working on this coffee shop, we're going to be taking out some walls and we have to make sure that the walls that already exist are supported with headers that support everything above them, the, the walls that encase the HVAC um, and how how the system, how the ducting is going to change. We have to actually have to engage an engineer in that case because we have to change the way the airflow runs through the building. Now, you may not need an engineer in your house, um, but you may. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there's times also, um, I just encountered this with a home that we were looking at where the ducting from the bathrooms was run to the attic and not through to the roof. And so as you can imagine with the moisture on, in a bathroom being, um, you know, vented to the attic and here in Tennessee, it's very humid during the, um, yeah. the summertime and that can be problematic. Although it may not necessarily be a code violation, it's probably not best practice, um, especially here in the South. So again, those those types of things are important to know ahead of time so that you're not doing renovations that may actually be popping on a on a home inspection later on down the road. Or that pop on you like, you know, we talked we talked about the code in the past and the code is frustrating and inspections are frustrating, but it's really there to protect you. Right. So even if you don't have if you're not doing permitted work, um, have somebody who knows the health and safety things around, you know, like we said, gas, water, electric structure um, so that um, so that you're protected. I'm doing a project right now in Dallas and they want to add a second story. And here, here in Texas, we have shifting soil and this house was built mm -hmm. 50 years ago. And so before we could start that process, we actually had to have an engineer look at the foundation and ensure that the footings would support the weight of a second story. So once again, it's it's making sure that you've got the right information. Um, and and that goes with a lot of what we talk about, right? Making sure you got the right information for the right job for the right, at the right time. You know, one of the things that you can do as well is become friends with your home inspector. Find a home inspector that you like and let them know your project plans. So, you know, this is what I'm thinking about doing. And I would actually suggest getting a couple different opinions from different home inspectors. There's or Facebook pages yeah. or contractors as well. But home inspectors on the front end, before you even start the design process, just to ask them, you know, pick their brain. What could, what are some of the challenges that we need to be aware of? What are some of the codes that we need to be aware of when we're thinking about this project? And there's Facebook pages um, dedicated to home inspectors. And I've actually gone in there and asked questions and they're very happy to answer them. And then on the back end, you can use that inspector for your home inspection and clear the home um, once your project is complete. Yeah. So there's lots that go into this. We're going to be talking lots about home renovations over the course of house nerds because so many people are doing them. There's, I would say it's even more prevalent than home building, right? People want to want to continue to improve, and that's great. I we love doing that, and we love talking about that, and we hope that that brings value to you know your surroundings and also to your investment. So um, this is a good introduction to that. <laughs> Yeah, and from a loan standpoint, you know, there's a lot of people who picked up houses this year and last year during the um, the the interest rates falling and COVID and all of that. There was a, a obviously our housing market kind of went crazy, but what happened was people picked up homes that were older. And now we're going to start seeing more remodels coming. So yeah, um, this is a good time I'm, to be talking about this topic. You know, I'm I think certainly it's seeing be... that on my side. Yeah, lots of, Are lots you? of requests okay. for additions and remodels. Yeah, so now's the time. So I guess this, this is a timely topic and um, hopefully will be a good resource for you along the way. Yeah, reach out if we can help you. Housenerds.us. Yeah. Have a great day. Have a great one. Thanks for joining us.